like, damn. He like, yo, I ain't even know. Yo, how many black billionaires you got? I'm like, I don't know. I said, bro, I said, yo, real shit. Only black billionaires they like showing us is my motherfuckers and like music or some shit. Like, they don't like showing like motherfucking business or real estate black moguls, like tycoons or like, I had to really like do shit on my own. Like, to actually look up who really got money. Like, I'm doing that shit for many years. It really be hard. Like I be wanting to see that. Like why, why we can't get other than entertainment representation? Why can't we get more business representation? And then the only business rep- rep- representation they be trying to show us is small business on TV. They not showing no Fortune 500 company that started by somebody that looked like me. Billion, this, that, that, and the third. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, it's some, that's something. Not, it don't be mainstream. Nah, you but know I don't why? Care. I got a few different reasons why. Because I'm seeing it my daggone self. It's gatekeepers. First and foremost, and the gatekeepers is not only the other nations, but ourselves too. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm dealing with some of these right. uh, organizations in Atlanta, and I have some questions about some stuff i'm gonna keep you posted later on but this ain't the live for it but i'm gonna keep you posted because i see it's shady like the way that we look at each other we keep each other out of it as i tell you and they're gonna do it so the aspect of them they even have now all these states trying to allegedly take out critical waste theory and all this crazy ain't nobody be because at the end of the day you know as black people that these people are not going to teach us what they want us to know that ever was a teacher that's the right stuff anyway so why are you arguing right. with them to be within their school why are we saying why you don't show us this why this that and th- because they're not come on now right. we got, if i take you away from your land and i know you got all these skills i'm gonna keep you as as dumbed down as possible and i'm sure not got not going to show your greatness now that's something we know so i don't understand like i had this one black girl going in i'm not gonna let them not represent me this this patient i thought she was she had psych diagnosis but she was tripping she was pointing at me she was just so passionate i was like man just chill i understand i agree with you yeah because they represent us wrong and they need to have this in these books correctly i'm like but man that's their books but that's their stuff. You're arguing for someone else to do what you want them to do instead of creating your own. Then when we create our own, we have this gatekeeper. And I'm gonna say that because me coming into the content creative field and the real estate field, I have came out here in Atlanta, going to certain places, met dudes who probably knew someone who was big on Instagram. This dude like, yeah, I don't mess with him. Da, 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 da. I'm like, well, I don't know. He a little funny. I, you know, I dealt with him, but I'm not judging nobody. I just don't like a cult mentality. Like, this is some real stuff that's happening. So he's like, all right, cool. I said, we set up a meeting so I could do some um, events at your, your location. Sure, no problem. The day of it, oh, I'm going to call you right back. Da, da, da. Yo, I'm waiting different places in the area so I could be close to him. This dude never hit me back. He, and I saw him, we on Instagram following each other. I just stopped following him. What's the message with I went to my last event? Because he wanted them alpha, cow, yeah. fi, alpha, 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 alpha. You see what I'm saying? And he like, yo, I, I came in hot. I'm, I'm giving my presentation. And he, he feeling all uncomfortable now. Because you literally try to play me. You know that I'm trying to get into this industry. I explain to you I'm by myself out here. So it's gatekeepers too. That's why you don't see it. They're not going to put the math or how they got Fortune 500 companies because a lot of them fucking don't. They're just a face for those companies because we're not moving further than that. Jay-Z is a face for football. He was the face that got everybody to take a whole glass and shut the fuck up. They literally gave them a concert. A concert to shut them up after Kaepernick never came back. Y'all ain't peeped that? You ain't peeped that? And the concert... Yo, the concert was all of these old rappers. And them old rappers are gatekeepers. You had 50 Cent. Why Why wasn't it Pop Smoke? You had Mary J. Blige. Why wasn't it another young person? You see, they had all these old... I said, yo, this, yo, 50 Cent came out upside down like a bat. I said, yo, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this old man about to have his, his blood go to his head still trying to perform when he should let 
the young black people in butt, or we got gatekeepers. One more thing. Peep, peep the news. Peep our stars. They old as hell. When these people, I look at the because you know I watch TV. I look, I'm like, damn, this person still on TV. This right, 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 hundred percent. Gatekeepers, gatekeepers. Be the activist. Uh, damn, I can't even name right at the tip of my tongue. He's skinny now. I'm he used to be fat. Uh, uh. Sheesh. If you uh, see him, Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. Thank you. Yo, he, get it out. he look weird. Get it out. God, yeah, he look crazy. He look crazy. He don't even look like the same. But he been holding that gatekeeping position for how long? Yeah, now he got his own little show on MSNBC, little news to shit. Try. No offense. I don't even watch none of that. Cause all of it is biased. You? I don't watch none of that shit. I, I, I just happened to scroll through. I was, I was on the stock market channel. That's two channels down. I went, I went down there to see what time it was, and I see his face. He got his own segment up there, a whole hour. That's all to uh, control the narratives and what we see. You see, it is what it is. They're gonna keep putting the people. Man, in them seat. niggas is bloodless. Like I tell everybody, them motherfuckers is glorified ambulance chasers of their own people. Mm. That's it, and that's all. Don't talk I don't about care what nobody say. Don't they me. made money off that. They made money off that shit. Everything. You got Ben Crump doing the same shit. Every time a black person die, I look up, he's standing next to their family. Thank you. I said, yo, like, I, damn, I, like, I, I was saying, yo, he can't handle all these cases. This nigga rich. No way he can handle all these cases. And if he got other black lawyers on his firm, he should be showing them and they should come and represent. Like, okay, we work for the Ben Crump exactly. lawyer. Yeah, this, but have a bunch of black lawyers. It's his face. It's his face. It's his face. So, I, you know, we talk like this, we hate. I, I'm just saying, but it is, it's weird. And then that's, that's how they, that's when you bring it up. And that's the first thing. Oh, why are you hating on that man? Why are you doing this on that man? Then you're like, yo, you actually look at knowledge. Like, hey, let me ask you a question, right? He gonna get that family the money. He gonna do this. I said, the family could go get that money on their own. Thank you. Thank you. They don't need no lawyer for that. They don't need no lawyer to, to file no lawsuit. You don't need no lawyer for none of that. But then if you do, you get a lawyer. I, like I said, pro, yeah, we can't do pro se. People, black people don't believe that. And so, yo, I got this footage of this lawyer. She, he was, she was on this other content creator show. I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna put it up in here. Yo, she admitted everything. She admitted that they right. all part of the Bar Association. They all know each other. She admitted everything. She must've been drunk. Cause she came on one of his life. Cause he be letting like people come on and just talk how they feel. So this is a gossip channel. Girl, she forgot she was a lawyer. Everything that we say, they work together. They get to choose what case is gonna go what. They will literally yep. know you're gonna lose a case and bleed you dry. She said it. She said facts. it. That's she, facts. That's the whole shit. That's facts. Oh my god, I couldn't believe she. I, I, I told you my. <laughs> I told you what my lawyer was telling me that he kept it a hundred. Yo, this is what he said to me. He said, "Yo, you're the best client I ever had in my life." Wow. He said, "My whole time being a lawyer." He said. He said, from me being a prosecutor to being a lawyer, he said, you're the best client I ever had in my life. I said, why you say that? He said, you ain't waver one time. He said, as many times as we came to this courtroom, you shoot bills out there. I, right, if you want to make me take this time, cut this person loose. I don't got no problem taking this time. I don't got no problem taking this. Get him off this. He said, I don't see that. He said, this is why... I be telling you that this is why I talk to you different than I talk to other people. He was telling me everything like, oh, 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 yeah, we all be having dinner together. Like, huh? He like, yeah, lawyers, judges, we all be going out sometimes on the weekend having dinner together. Prosecutors, lawyers, we all, we all, you know, he pulled out his phone and started showing me names. I'm like, damn, that's, a, that's the judge, that's the prosecutor, that's this, that's that. Mm. That's, they all fucking friends. Mm. And when he was telling me that shit, he like, yo, look. He like, yo, she don't owe me nothing right now. Her boss don't owe me nothing right now. You see what I'm saying? Wow. He said, so I ain't really got no leverage. This is what he told me. I really ain't got no leverage. You, I, I ain't never tell y'all. My first tweet was 35 years. Woo, I'm glad you ain't tell us that. Oh, my God. And I, <sighs> my first tweet bargain was 35 years. He came in, he said, I ain't even going to disrespect you. I said, what you mean? He like, I ain't even going to take you to play. I said, but tell me the plea. He said, 35. He said, don't worry. I'm 
gonna get that shit way down. I ain't going for that. He got it from 35 to 30, from 30 to 25, from 25 to 20. Yo, he had to pull some strings. And probably, probably yeah, like, yo, like, you could get this, this case and let me get this case. Shit like that. Right. Yo. Right. <laughs> allegedly. Right. I got to throw the allegedly exactly. in there for you, too. Allegedly. This is coming out of his mouth, like. Like, and he told me, he like, yo, and this how fly he was. He said, yo, when you go down for Alpha Gale Pill, throw my name in it, throw me under the bus. Why would that That's help? He told me. Why he told you to he do that? He told me. He said, yo, when you do it, just throw me under the bus. You could slander me, whatever. This is what he's saying. He's like, yo, he telling me what to say, like, before, uh, after my sentencing. He like, yo, do your pill, say this. Oh, so you could have a chance for a pill based on your representation. And oh, I was like, why would he say that? Yo, I mess with him. I see, I mess with whoever that is. Uh huh. I'm like, yo, this old white like, dude, fly as hell. Like, <laughs> he's like, yo, you're the best client I ever had. Like, really? Like, I ain't never lied to you. Like, he's like, you don't see this a lot. Like, he said, you don't see this right here. Like, he like, through all the confusion, he said, he's. Cause you know he knew the real, so he like through all the confusion and everything that's going on. He said you never wavered, you never changed, nothing. You see what I'm saying? He said yo like, cause the nigga told me before he like yo look. He like look, I could talk to the prosecutor. I said about what? He said listen, I can get you a five with an eighty five. I said nigga, you better get the fuck out my face with that shit. He like I knew you was gonna say that, but I'm your lawyer. I have to tell you this. I can get you a 5 with 85. He said, now, if you want to take that deal, they're not going to get plea bargains. They're going to snatch their plea bargains, make them go to trial, and you're going to have to testify again. Ooh. I said, what the fuck do I look like? He's like, listen, they getting the same. This is what he said. I said, what the fuck I look like? He's like, I know you ain't going to take it, but I got to tell you this by law. They getting the same. I said, by law. I said, so you telling me this? He said, because they lawyers are telling them the same thing right now. Wow. Yo, you, that dude had a little now, bit of respect know, for you. He said, I don't know who gonna bite. He said, I'm telling you this now. Somebody might bite on it. I said, yo, to be honest with you, ain't nobody gonna bite on it. I don't think nobody gonna bite on it, but it is what it is. Ain't nobody. You have 30 seconds remaining. Nobody bit on it. Nobody took it. That's what's up. I think he, he he really had respect for you after you show who you are. And that's why I tell people, show you educated. God, your lawyer. Because he never saw no black boy like you. He was 18. Yeah. You was a young boy. Yep. So I respect that. I'm glad he tried. I love you.